Basketball Hustle TV presents three versus three league sponsored by Bate Painting. Reserve your spot today. Basketball Hustle. Basketball Hustle. Basketball Hustle. Basketball Hustle. I do this for my young boy. Coach Rob P here. My man Aaron Davis out of Cincinnati. School of Creative and Performing Arts. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. How you? I'm well. Thanks for asking. But let me ask you. How you liking the competition out here so far? It's cool. I mean, they give me what I'm looking for. It's getting me better. Okay. Okay. Where do you want to go? I mean, we looking at Clark, but I just took this Walnut test. I like to go to Walnut. All my friends going there, it's a good education. They got a good basketball team. I'm cool with the varsity coach, Coach Ricardo. You know, it's cool. But notice he said Clark. So, last question, man, and, and, and this is what I ask everybody. What do you do when you're in the gym to work on your game individually? Individually. I do what I do best in the game. I drive, I shoot. You know, I work on my defense, get in shape. Can't be out of shape because if you're not in shape, you can't get up and down the court. Wise beyond his years. Well, man, I tell you what, man, if I'm correct, I think I heard you're going to be in the All Star game here. Oh, yeah. I'm in the All Star game. Excellent. Well, we're going to make sure we get, to, get uh, the camera on you, get some eyes on you, man. Appreciate your time. Have fun, man. Basketball Hustle, we out. This season is really exciting. From, from an outsider's perspective, it's a really exciting thing. Um, our seniors prior to this year had a combined record of five and 60 something. They've gotten four and, uh, four and 19 last year and won zero games their sophomore year and one game their freshman year. So then we turn around and this year we're 15 and seven. So from an outsider's perspective, that's a great turnaround. And, and from the inside, it's a good turnaround, but we're not, we're not where we want to be. I think we are very successful. I mean, it's better than any of, the, any of the other years we had. I mean, we got better coaches and coaches that give us good advice and that push us to being successful. Come off of that, like playing all like the three years before and not being successful, it's like it changed a lot and we are like, really successful. Um, I agree with them that we've been really successful, really successful this year than the previous years, and that we um, have gotten more support and people have been starting to believe in us more. Well, when we came when we came into this thing, we we knew a couple of things that we had. We knew we had, you know, good guard play. We knew we had some good solid, you know, big man play. We knew we were going to be athletic, mm -hmm. and you know, those are the the constants that we knew coming coming in. We didn't know is if our ex inexperience was going to catch up to us, you know, in the year. So it, it, getting these guys to be able to you know gel as a team quickly was one of our was one of our main goals, and that started this summer. You know, and you know, taking our trip up to the northern part of the state, staying a few days there, and you know, really getting some work in uh, with teams that we wouldn't normally normally see, and that has started to transfer itself to, you know, now 21 games later, uh, you see these guys gelling on and off the on and off the court. <laughs> Thank you.
see us out there defensively. I need to see us jumping to the basketball, keeping that ball on one side of the floor. I don't want to see guys late tonight. Don't be late tonight. Tristan on the track. season we had a better season than most people anticipated because we had a lot of guys we had a couple guys leave you know new coaching and all that but we had a lot of guys step up that might not have played any varsity last year or just a little bit of varsity last year so I think we shocked a lot of people then we had a great season but it can always be better but like you said um not many people were expecting much out of us this year um when our, when our coach left you know um <clears throat> he took some of the players People was expecting us to have a bad season, but I think we did good. We had a good season, ready for the tournament. Uh, hey, Jazz, break us down. Hey, you on camera, so don't fool. Tell me on three. <laughs> One, two, three. Bam. Don't fool. Don't fool. Don't fool. Don't be fool. All right, folks, we're back here at Basketball Hustle TV at the Buckeye Prep Elite Showcase here in Cincinnati, Ohio, hosted by Woodward High School. Sitting here next to me is Robert Height, high school phenom here from Cincinnati back in the day. Rob, how you doing? I'm great, sir. What's going on? I can't call it. I can't call it. If I had your money, I'd be a little bit better. I'd be a little bit better. I hear you. So listen, man, you know, we got you down here. You know, I know... Coach McMillan, Paul called you down, wanted you to deliver a message to the youth that is here today. You know, one of the things that I like to do, especially when we get an opportunity to to interview a, a professional, former athlete, former pro athlete, is I get we get real in depth. You know, one of the things I wanted to know, you know, what is that grind like getting to the NBA or getting to that professional level over there in the high high uh, leagues in, in Europe. What's that grind like? It's more about just a daily grind. It's just a more consistency than anything. Uh, getting up those 500 to 1,000 shots every day. Uh, working on your footwork. Working on just finding something in your game that you need to get better at and working on that until it gets better and then moving on to the next thing or however you want to do it. But just every day doing something to get better. Or would you say that inconsistency in your habits and your rituals whether that be you know your inconsistency in taking care of your body or your game prep you know things like that is that conducive to getting to that level well you, the saying is hard work beats talent any day so definitely inconsistency you'll only get so far with inconsistency mm -hmm. I mean your talent can only take you so far then that hard work kicks in and it take you to the next level LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, D. Wade are very, very good, but they also are some of the hardest workers in the NBA. That's why they're on that elite status. Um, because they put in the work day in and day out, two, two times a day, because they want to be great. You got to want to be great. And to do that, you have to do it every day. There's no days off. Even when it is a day off, you're really not taking a day off. Maybe you're just taking care of your body or 
whatever you're doing, but there's no days off when you're trying to be great and get to the next level. We about to put you on the hot seat. We, we got you warmed up. You know, we're going to put you on the hot seat a little bit. Okay, it, it can get real hot on Basketball Hustle now. Okay, well, when you walk out, you're going to melt the snow because it's about to get real smoky. There were rumors circulating that people had did took this and got gifts here and all this and that. You know, I want to give you the opportunity to clear that up you know bring some light to the you know to the situation because a lot of people now to this day often talk about did somebody get something you know i want to give you that opportunity now i told you i told you i told you it's gonna get hot it's gonna get hot we can talk about it all day okay um, if anybody did receive anything outside of me mm -hmm. i have no idea about it mm -hmm. but I went down there because I took a visit, first of all. Right. I'm from Cincinnati, went to Miami, first time in Miami, Florida. Seen the palm trees, <laughs> it's 90 degrees, it's October. Um, of course, the beautiful women. The campus was beautiful. I knew, and basketball-wise, I knew I was gonna have a chance to start and play a lot of minutes as a freshman. So that was a big reason. I liked the coaching staff that I went, that was one of my main reasons I went down there. Um, and it was a black coach as well. Perry Clark was down there when I got down there. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, just felt comfortable, it felt right. Um, that was my first visit. I was supposed to go to Tennessee the next weekend. I committed before I even came home and the rest is history. But I didn't, I didn't receive any money. I didn't receive any gifts, my parents didn't. Um, this was on the strength of, I felt like it was a good opportunity. So there you have it. You have it straight from the horse's mouth. All those rumors, everybody always been wondering over these, what? <laughs> 12, 14 years, something like that now, there, there's your answer, and you got it. I, I told you I wasn't afraid to ask the man the questions, okay? Now, let me ask you this, man, you know, keeping you on the hot seat. You were riding pretty good in that NBA life, man. What would you say, you know, what would you say if you had a chance to go back and do things different, you know, because at – I believe, if I'm right, you're 30, right? 31. 31, 31. Okay. At 31, you still got some life in them legs, right, right. you know? You know, what would you do different if you could tell these kids, like, hey, this is what happened to me, and this is what I should have did. What would you do different to where maybe, you know, maybe, you know, if, 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 if the good Lord above wanted you to still be in the NBA, what would you have done different to maybe have you situated to where you're still playing right now? I gotta leave. I wanna leave. Basketball Hustle TV presents 3 vs. 3 League, sponsored by Bate Painting. Reserve your spot today.